I joined Lambda Theta Alpha, it's a Latin sorority. Uh, I chose it because a lot of my friends and family were in LTA and every time I went around any of the sisters, I just felt really welcomed and I felt like I fit in. I felt that was the place for me. I, uh, I decided to join this fraternity because of the uh, brotherhood aspect that this fraternity offered me. I uh, went to a couple rush events and I uh, just saw the co cohesiveness of the brothers and you know, I really wanted to be a part of that. I decided to join Kappa Delta Chi because um, I went to college in Texas State and I wanted to feel, I wanted to meet new people, I wanted to meet more people. Um, I was alone, I only had one friend over there and I felt like joining an organization would help me not only meet new people but have more connections. Well, I saw the, I don't know, I guess I saw myself as part of them because, you know, we all come from the same backgrounds. I might not be from the same part of the city, but, you know, if they're multicultural, then, you know, they can accept any, anyone from anywhere. Uh, I think it definitely has. Um, Lambda Theta Alpha is really involved, you know, in political, uh, local community activities. Um, we do a, just a lot of activist work uh, and speak on behalf of those who don't really have a voice. Uh, so I do think that it helps a lot of the Hispanics, um, lower income communities, uh, things like that across the U.S. Uh, so it's definitely um, kept in line with my roots and gotten me closer to that aspect. Well, what's really cool about Omega Delta Phi that I really fell in love with even before I became a member is the, the, the service we do in the community. Like uh, one of my favorite events that we do every fall is uh, we feed over a hundred families that are unfortunate during the Thanksgiving break. And uh, you know, we feed them, you know, pretty much a Thanksgiving meal. In my area, in Georgia, there were a lot of issues with the Latino community, uh, especially impacting people in my sorority. So it kind of brought it more to light because it was impacting people that I personally knew. Um, and so they weren't issues that you can necessarily turn a blind eye to. Um, as far as me, I never had to personally deal with that, but knowing people who have had to deal with it personally, um, it's definitely brought it more to light. And I feel like part of that was through LTA. So um, one of the things that we do, we do have a local philanthropy, which is called Kids Against Drugs. Um, we go, it's an after school program for kids. Um, we go and help the kids with their homework, we take them out to play. Um, we just bond with the little kids just for them to have something to do after school. LTA helped me be more of a leader and more assertive in myself that I need to go look for this job and I'm not gonna stop until I find the job I need. And I got the job. Another thing is, you know, that networking aspect. I feel like uh, there's a brother that I can rely on if, if I made any type of career move, career change. Uh, you know, there's a brother that could be a coach or a doctor or a lawyer. You know, it's a really big network opportunity. Women that, were, that went through the same stuff I went through, that understood my culture and that understood how my family was going to be. Um, growing up, I've always been close to my family, so I wanted that family away from home. And I was really looking for people that understood me, that had similar experiences, and that really just, um, it was going to be easy to connect to on a deeper level than just meeting someone like, hey, we do the same major, hey, we're interested in the same philanthropy, but on a level that our people have gone through the same stuff, we're struggling through the same things, and we're going to overcome it.
You know, being around, you know, Hispanic males, you kind of learn of everybody's background and uh, you kind of see that, you know, everybody kind of comes from the same place, especially, you know, our parents. You know, I would say most Hispanic parents, you know, come from, you know, I weren't born in America, so I feel like we all kind of have that in common and things like that. Everybody out here talking that they said nobody does being a multicultural sorority and Latina founded has had a big impact in me. Um, I can bond more with my sisters, I feel. They come um, from similar backgrounds and I feel that we can relate to a lot of things. I first met uh, the fraternity when I was in Cougar Carnival. I saw uh, Brother Eli and Brother Carlos, and I was like, hey, damn, they look like some paisas. And I came up to them. They were some pretty cool people to talk to. So that's why I started getting interested, and we went off from there. Let me tell you something about them. S-I-G-M-A all the way. L-A-M to the B-D-A to the G-M-A to the M-A. If you got me any you know, clap your hands. society has Greek life all wrong because it's a lot of work. There's a lot that goes into it. It's not partying. Um, for example, our sorority isn't even allowed to uh, party. Um, we're not allowed to have our own house, so we don't do things like that. Um, there's a lot of like paperwork and just planning for events, planning and meetings that you have to have. and It's really time consuming. There's no time uh, to waste, you always have to think of what what's going on. So there's always something to do, and it's it's not really just all fun and games. There's a lot of work that goes behind that. We do have a lot of community service. We have to do fundraisers. We have to have meetings like on a weekly basis. We have to meet with advisors, and then we have university. Um, requirements we have to fulfill as well as requirements for our sorority or nationally we have to meet certain uh, requirements and it's not it's not what everyone what society thinks it is it's you always see those uh, you know social media aspects of it like partying drinking all those negative things but you know 
Omega Delta Phi really showed me what, you know, a fraternity of brotherhood could be. Oh,